So I, I got, I tried it. I, my vocals. I'm pretty sure you can. Stevie Mackey. I know he can get my vocals together because I'll be trying it. I'll be trying it. Let's get into the review. So we are back. Welcome, music heads. What's up? What's up? What's up? So, first of all, I'm late because for some reason my DVR said, oh, we ain't going to record this. We're not going to record it. So, it did record. It had finally recorded Friday night. Yeah, Friday night. So, I'm just now watching it. Let's get into it. So, who was picked for the group, which was surprising. Even though, like, last video I said, I can't, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I can't come up with the group. I don't know. But when I watched it again, I was like, okay. Now that they put them together, I'm like, mm, didn't work for me. But, um. Anyway, so uh, Ashley, Crystal, uh, Brianna, Gabby, and Cheyenne were picked for the group. I was surprised not by Ash, not by Ashley, Crystal, and Brianna, but more Cheyenne and Gabby. Cheyenne because the whole um, like petty with her and Cheyenne, and they kept saying she was young and all this, and then. Um, Gabby, because again, even though she was in my top every time I did reviews for the um, the episodes, she was in my top. But I was thrown off by her, the, these two and Gabby, because I already done said Cheyenne, but Gabby, because she her voice is unique. It's more um, old soul like. Um, cause she did Frank Sinatra, um, when they did their, um, when they was rehearsing with, uh, Stevie Mackey, um, she, you know, she was just different. That's why I was thrown off by those two. But, um, now that I saw the show, I would have liked the group to have been, um, Ashley, because when they brought her back and I heard her saying, I was like, Okay, yes, Frank, you, yes, you better bring something back, like, because Kelly was looking at him like, why'd you, why are we bring the girls back? Like, what were we doing? But, um, Frank, um, brought her, Ashley back, and she went in my top, like, for groups or whatever, um, after that, but who I thought, now watching it, I would have liked to have saw... Ashley, Crystal, Ashley, Crystal, Brianna, um, Sky, and, um, and who, and Maya, yes, so, I would have liked to see, seen, um, uh, Ashley, Crystal, Ashley, Crystal, Brianna, Maya, and Sky. those would have been my five, watching it, um, last night I saw it. So, um, that's who I would have thought would have been in the group, um, that would have made it just based on how Frank and Kelly were talking about the girls and saying why or why not they would have been, um, good for a group or a solo. But anyway, so they went ahead and picked the girls. Somebody else is like, I mean, it, it was, it is what it is, you know, um, I just hope the girls kill it. You know, they're trying to, it's always good, you know, when you don't win to have a positive, you know, outlook anyways. Like, still feel like a winner. Still have that winner attitude. That, so all the girls that did make it, they was like, yeah, you know, I'm a little disappointed, but, you know, it is what it is. Everything happens. You know, given that. And Chow, when they put it on Kyla, it was more like, she put her stuff together and the producer, the camera people, they like, so you don't, you're not going to say goodbye to, no. I mean, they didn't talk to me anyways. And see, that's what I'm saying because from day one, Frank, that's why I love that Frank is on this show with Kelly. I, I get my life with him, but I, from day one, he kept saying stuff to Kelly and even Kelly noticed, um, like her persona, her personality. So from day one, they kept on saying, I like her. I like her. I love her. Like, I like her. I love her. Like she's, you know, she, she does it for me. 
but it's her attitude and personality. Like she has got to get that right because I want her to win. I want to see her win. They kept saying that. I was like, ooh, that's going to be a tough one because she can say, I think that's what messed her up. Because they was like, do we really want to add her in the group and then regret it later because she's not getting along with the girls or which is going to happen anyways because it's a girl group. Like females, it ain't, it's not going to be roses and flowers and no, oh, it ain't going to be like that because the girls just can't like, you're going to see each other. They're going to be around each other all the time. Like you're going to get on each other's nerves. You're going to get into it over little stuff. So it's going to happen. But so put her is like a solo artist because she cannot, and I'm pretty sure that's what she's going to do. Keep hustling and grinding what she should do because I can see her doing her own thing, doing, doing solo. Cause she has that. She's very talented, but I just feel like she's dealt with so much. And from what I have been, I'm outside looking in by what I saw on the show. Like, it's just looks like she's been through so much. Like, she doesn't know how to break down those walls and let people in and let people see the good side of her. So I think that's what hurt her um, in this competition. But I'm pretty sure she, because she seems like them go-getters, like, okay, y'all didn't pick me. Okay, I'm not going to have a good attitude about it. I'm not happy about it. No, I got it. But she just seems like the type of um, person to be like, that's not going to stop her. Like, she's going to pursue her dreams regardless. So... Hopefully we're going to, you know, hear some music from her. But um, moving on. So they picked the group and then Ellie is having her solo interview and she's going over why she chose the girls and um, the girl, they show the girls working out, you know, already going into like it's, it's starting like they already getting into working out and stuff like that. And then Kelly goes into um, the studio and she talks to producer Tricky um, Stewart, I believe that's his last name. Um, and they're in the studio and she's basically getting feedback from him about, you know, I have five girls, you know, this is why I chose them. And I'm looking what I um, want to see come out of them is, you know, we're, we're looking at style. We're looking at harmonizing and as a group and <laughs> trick was tricky was basically looking at her like, okay, that's cute. But, um, <laughs> I do this. And when it comes to groups, you know, I've been in this thing for whatever years. And when it comes to groups, there's times where I'm like, okay, I wish that person and that person went in there because they don't do nothing for me. Like, why are you here? Like, this doesn't matter to me. Um, but he's basically telling Kelly, you know, ask you what you think about them, but mm, like you want them to harmonize and, you know, when a group should be more than that, like somebody's got to pick up, you know, this key from time to time, like he, and he, then he asked her, um, what, what group that you can name where everybody was like, had something like everybody got something out of, you know, being in the group. And she mentioned Spice Girls and I'm cause you know, that was around my time, you know, when Spice Girls was on TV and stuff like that. And I was like, eh. like they were international, but I don't, yeah, because you can't say that because they had their own little, you know, spicy gin, ginger and I forgot the rest of the sad. I don't know. There's a bunch of them, but, um, they all had their own little like personality. They all had, they were their own individual. So, um, but anyways, he just basically gave her that feedback. And why did he say that? Cause Kelly was like, oh man, like, do I have to make another cut? I'm like, Kelly. This is why I wish before they picked, because Frank, to me, you know, that was, he was good enough. His opinion, like, because he's, he's the veteran out of both of them. But, um, I believe, um, as far as like years in the, in the in industry or whatever. But, um, that's why I, I think that Kelly, before making that group, putting that, also mentioned something about L.A. Reid too, that she was, 
respects his opinion because Tricky and L.A. Reid, I guess they worked along this side of each other. But I'm like, L.A. Reid also didn't care for Neo, Usher, and Pink and told them he doesn't really see something. Basically, having his doubts about them and not wanting to sign them. And, or he did, I don't know, but he basically first told them that they weren't going to be as big and in TLC too. I think he said that about them and look at them. They made it too. So it's grouped together. She should have brought, if she respected Tricky and there was other like Tricky, cause she got Frank and uh, Stevie's uh, opinion, but she should have brought Tricky and whoever else she valued their opinion about, um, you know, groups or whatever, just music in general. She should have brought them into the, um, into like, she should have brought them into the room or whatever and went over each girl and got their opinion, then made her decision or whatever. But I think, you know, it is what it is. She already like, Always go with your first instinct. Is that if that's it's your group? Like if that's what you took from those girls, then it is what it is. You just there's ways of working with them and 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 putting them into what you you know want out of a group. But that's the thing about the music industry. There's so many talented talented people that once they do make it big and sign to these labels or whatever, it's kind of like destroys like the authentic part about them because it's it's like it's what the music industry wants you to become like they try to mold you and some are successful and mold certain artists into what they want them to be and I just I don't that's why they always say you know there's a dirty side to being famous and doing in the music um, being in the mu music industry but you signed up for it so you can't really say nothing. But, uh, <clears throat> so she picked a group. She did her solo review about why she picked them. She talked to Tricky. And rehearsal came with Frank. Oh, my God. This part, oh, my gosh. Ugh. It just, like, took my, you know, pulled at my heartstrings because um, Frank was basically getting the girls together. Like, look. Y'all, they had she had them lined up like they in boot camp or something like that. He's just going down the line like, um, I know, you know, why'd you stuff them donuts, Cheyenne? Why'd you stuff them donuts in your mouth? I, a little birdie told me, you know, that's what you did. And he's just basically going through the line. But then he got to Ashley and she's basically saying, you know, I got to work harder than all these, all the girls like. I feel basically saying she feels, you know, more pressure because she get, has to work harder. I'm like, what is she talking about? Like, I love it. Even Frank said, he's like, okay, yeah, all, all of you do though. And no, then she came out and said, no, because my mother was murdered. I was like, oh, why did she say that? Oh, I was literally crying. I was like, oh my God, bless her. Like, bless her. Like, whoo. Even Frank was like, okay. Mm, I know I try to get y'all together, but okay, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't know that. Like, ooh, you know, but that was, that was sad. Like, I feel so, like, so bad for her. But yes, I was in tears because, oh, I couldn't, I don't even want to think like that. Because me and my mom, that is my best friend. Go best friend, that's my best friend, this my, I'm trying to tell you. Like, I get my life with my mom. Like, seriously. So I couldn't, I don't even want to think about that. But she basically said that to him and, you know, Frank was like, okay, well, we'll put that into your work. Like make that come out of you. Make your mom proud because she's already proud of you right now. Put that into everything you do. And child, she started singing and Frank almost started crying again because her voice is so powerful. Like it is so powerful and you can hear her pain come out of it and it and it just makes it even 10 times better like that's how good she is vocal rehearsal with with uh, stevie mackey and um then when it came back from commercial new edition it came out i was like yes i was like hey this is the moment i was waiting for yay but um 
so new edition came in and they basically was talking to the girls, telling them, you know, the do's and don'ts about being in a group and basically saying, you know, look, y'all team, but a team, it doesn't hurt to have friendly com competition. Like that just makes you even better. Like make each other better. But, uh, I was like, if I was in that room with them, I would be, because that's how I am with people who are older than me, because I don't too much, I mean, I know there's people my age and younger who's been through way more in life than anybody could imagine, and I can take from them as well, but the majority of, the majority of the time, I'm listening to people who are older than me, like my, uh, my grandmother, God rest her, so like, I took from her, like, Older people, I listen to them and take in their wisdom and soak up everything that they, that they can tell me because they've been there, done that. They've done been through life. Like, can't nobody my age, the majority of the time, my age can tell me certain things because they're living in the same generation as I am and things are not, you know, the way they should be or whatever. So sometimes it's okay to take from people who are older than you, who's done, been there, done that, been through life or whatever. It's good to soak in their energy and take in the wisdom of what they're uh, <clears throat> telling you. But anyway, so they, you know, have their moment with new, new edition. <sighs> I got to go to one of their concerts too this year. Like I have to, because I got my tickets to see Jill Scott. Yes, yes. Okay, back on subject. Uh, <clears throat> so after that, then the ending of the show comes and the girls um, are at Steve Mackey's house and, you know, he invites people who um, has helped him come into his um, career of being a, a career of being a vocal coach. And um, <clears throat> they basically... Um, yeah, they um, basically, you know, performed in front of his friends and Kelly and everybody was just there. And my I was just sitting there watching. I was like, oh, Lord, I know because they ain't been together that long. Gosh, okay, so somebody going to be off key or it's just not going to, I don't, oh, my gosh. Like, it, the doubt was there. That's bad to say. But I was really like, okay, they going to be okay, but it's not going to. Child, they got up on there. I was like, look, we only been together for two weeks, but um, my name is this, my name is this. Hi, hi, everybody, and go. And they started saying, I was like, okay, okay, because they took listening to them, and it just like Kelly was saying at the end, she's like, he was like, okay, okay, hmm, okay, okay. Like, it was like it had a build with you as you watched it, but... When I heard them, I was like, okay, y'all just took me back to 80s, 90s, good R&B. Like, y'all took us back. Like, everybody always talking about, you know, girl groups don't exist like this no more. Like, you, there's, it's it's not here. Like, where's the R&B girl groups? I was like, okay, yes. Y'all just took me back to, eight, you know, 90s uh, R&B. Like, y'all sound like a group like that worked for me and especially um Ashley and Chris I was like oh okay yes y'all better get your life um in the back of Stevie Mackey's uh yard you better do that shoot because you know the good artists they done performed at rib shacks and grocery stores hair salons all that you bet whatever moment you in you better sing for your life like for real because that's how they be saying, don't ever somebody tell you, okay, you can sing, okay, sing something for me. And you be like, I don't know, I, I, I have to warm up. And I, Child, bye. Ain't nobody got time for that. Sing, like sing for your life because you don't know who's watching. But yes, they did an amazing job. Like that was incredible. Like they were beyond what, you know, I thought beforehand. But um, anyways... So, after that, <clears throat> Miss Gabby, Miss Gabby, honey, child. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, why, before, you know, I guess Keller was going to do another, they was going to start recording, and this was like in between a break or something, and um, I think her assistant or somebody handed her phone, basically saying, look, look, um, 
there's something you need to see. <laughs> and it's referred, it's, it's about Gabby. And she's like, oh, gosh. Like, oh, oh, gosh. What's going on? And she looks and check. Why is Gabby talk? I guess she's doing some kind of YouTube challenge or something like that where you go around kissing strangers or whatever. But I was like, oh Lord, why? 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 Mm -mm -mm. And Kelly, she went from, okay, what is it? <laughs> to, okay, I'm, I'm pissed off. Like, this is not what, like, we got to see about her. So, Next episode, you know, she probably going to be, Miss Gabby about to be gone. And then they need to call, uh, they need to call, uh, Sky or somebody. But, but they play too much. They better not do it. They better not. Because they play with Sky too much. Team too much. Like, I really thought she was going to be in the group. Because, you know, they, Kelly envisioned her being in the group. She envisioned herself being in the group. Like, that was you know, very disappointing, but we shall see what happens next week. It's going to be some stuff like, but yeah, that's, that's our group. You know, that's our group. Ashley, uh, Ashley, Crystal, Cheyenne, Brianna, and Gabby. But again, for me, I, I would have liked to have saw, um, Ashley, Crystal, Brianna, um, Sky and Maya, those that would have done it for me. Like now, now I can come up with the group because these other episodes I saw, I was like, oh, I don't see nobody. Like there's so much talent, like I can't tell. But once you break apart the episodes and see the girls individually from what they went through while on the show, you're kind of like, okay, now I see. You know, I can form the group, but. Yep, that's what went down this episode. So next Tuesday, my DVR better record too. I'm not playing because I was mad. I was like, Ugh. why all of a sudden when they about to get the group together, my DVR decides like, mm -mm, no, nope, not this week. We're not going to record you. Huh. So thank goodness I got to watch it uh, yesterday. But yes, uh, like comment subscribe uh comment down below if you are good with this group like if you feel in this group and if you're down who you would have liked to saw have seen um in the group uh kelly's group and yes i will be seeing y'all next week holla at you later